Hey guys! Hello, hello, hello! How are you? It's Sunday night. I am back from Nashville. So, and I have a um, wreath I have to make for an order. So I thought I would pop on and make it with you guys. Hold on, let me find you. Alright, so how is everyone doing? Say hello as you come in. Okay, activate that. We're good to go. All right. Hello, Rachel. How are you? So, what are you guys up to today? Hey, Grace. Hey, Pam. Hey, Rachel. All righty. So, I have an order I have to fulfill. For this, it says, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Hey, Deborah. So, cool sign. So, I have this um, basket weave mesh. Isn't that cool? Love that. And then, we have some lemons, of course. My trip was amazing. It was a lot of fun. It really was a lot of fun. And then, we're going to be using these three. Um, ribbons. So let's get started because I have to ship this puppy out tomorrow. So how's it going you guys? Hope you all are well. Hey, hey, hey. All right. So we're going to be using this basket weave mesh. I cut it to 20 inches. And if you cut it to 20 inches, you will get um, 18 pieces, which is how many... Um, how many ties I have on my wreath frame. So, hey Regina, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going, now this feels, um, this basket weave mesh feels a little more like plastic. Hey Judith from Alberta, Canada, welcome. So, um, it's, you know, definitely waterproof. Hey Andrea, can you please, um, Type live if you do not get alerts from me. Type in live and then answer the questions that my bot sends you. You can also, um, there's a little bell icon on the top. Hey Kathy, hey Penny. Um, you can click on that and that will give you an alert every time I go live. Do that anyway because sometimes my bot does not want to cooperate and it doesn't send out my um stuff to people so make sure you do that and please like and follow my page and also um, subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel so i have to say nashville was a blast penny do you live near nashville girl that is a fun place just got back yesterday um i like working with the um fabric mesh the most. I really like the fabric mesh. Hey Sherry. Um, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. That's Surrey. Um, so I like that, but I like this too. It just, you know, I, and I like 21 inch the best or 12 inch the best. Guys, I cannot talk tonight. 10 inch the best. Um, but I definitely like the fabric mesh. I just like the feel of it. Um, I just like it. So, thank you for blessing my page. Yes, if you would, please, please, please bless my page. Yes, happy Sunday. So, I um, had a great time. I think my favorite thing there was going to the Belmont Mansion. I like to like go and see mansions and stuff like that. Um, it's just like you step back in time. It was really cool. Hey, Pat. It was really cool. So I think that was my favorite thing to see. Um, the Parthenon was cool. The, um, of course, the Country Music Museum. Hey, Diane. That was fun. I mean, all of it was fun. It just, um, Kathy. Hey, girl. How you feeling? 
Kathy fell and broke her arm and then had to have surgery on Wednesday. So you guys pray for her. Um, yeah, but it was just, it was a lot of fun. It was hot. Whew. It was hot. I mean, at 8 o'clock in the morning, it was like 95 degrees already. And it got to be like 98 every single day. It was hot. I mean, I sweated my buns off. So, I cu again, I cut these to 20 inches, and I'm doing the ruffle method. I'm just taking and placing one in each of my... You did, Sandra! Good for you! Way to go! Girl, you can do it. You can do it. I told you, you can go live in the group if you want to practice. You do? Oh... I just love doing the tours of the mansions and stuff like that. It was really cool. Really cool. Sandra, you can do it. Girl, we can set it up that you can go live in the group so you're among friends, so you're not stressed out. I have a private group that Sandra is a member of. So we do a lot of fun stuff in there. Yeah, it was fun. It was, it was really fun, but it was hot, let me tell you, Whew, hot, 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 that's a different kind of hot, let me tell you, I was roasting, I mean, literally, like, I would walk one block and sweat would be dripping off of me, so, needless to say, hey, Debbie from Ohio, if sweating like that would take the weight off, ooh, I would have lost 30 pounds. But what are you going to do? So yeah, don't forget to share if you would. And like and follow my page. Yes, muggy. Oh, it was so muggy. So muggy. I'm telling you, it was like a different level. Okay, so um, with a thumbs up, how many of you guys have ever done an Uber or a Lyft? How many of you guys have done that? Give me a thumbs up. If you've ever taken an Uber or a Lyft. Okay, there's one, two, just two of you guys? Wow, see, I never did either. I never did either until this week. Um, I did uh, some, some lifts. And, and most of the drivers were very nice. I know it is unusual for a Sunday, but I have this order for a wreath that I have to ship out tomorrow, and I've been gone, so I thought I would pop on and make it now. Setting up an Etsy shop is not hard. Hello, Mary. You did? Yeah. Well, that's what we did, too, in Nashville, because it was, I mean, you know, it's a hop, skip, and a jump away, but when it's 98 degrees... Thank you for blessing my page. Yeah, and that's one thing in the group we do too. If you need help, like setting up your face, your you know Etsy shop, I'm not an expert, but I can certainly help you guys do that if you're a member of my group. Oh well, see that'll be even more fun, Sandra. We're not used to hearing your accent, so that would be really fun. So, all right, again, I cut these to 20 inches. Now, if you cut your mesh to 20 inches, you will get 18 pieces out of it, which is how many pipe cleaners I put on um, my frame. This is a, um, a, what is it? It's a, a basket weave mesh. And um, the, the group is $14.99 a month, darling. And it kind of has a little bit of a plasticky feel to it. And my group, we meet Tuesday nights. Um, usually seven, but until the end of October, it kind of varies because I have my grandkids four nights a week. So my lives kind of get pushed back.
Okay, Peggy Ann, what? I went to really bad. Oh, girl, you can open your Etsy, open up your Etsy shop with one. You can open your Etsy shop with one wreath. And then you just, you know, keep adding. Hey, Beverly. Hey, Sandra. No, you don't have to have a lot of inventory. Nope. It just takes one to open up your shop. You know, and then just add them as you make them. 20 inches, Mary Ellen. Yep, it's 10 inch mesh that I cut to 20 inches. If you cut it 20 inches, you'll get 18 pieces. If you cut it to 30 inches, you'll only get 12 or less. I think it's 12. Yeah, 12. Um, so, and most of the time, 20 inches is fine. Especially with this mesh, um, it gives you plenty of coverage. So you don't have to worry about that. So what, how, I, Nashville was so much fun, like I said. It was really a good time. Um, I don't drink, so, you know, it's not like I was going bar hopping. But it was just fun to walk around and see all the sights and um, went to, um, hey Lucy, um, no, the Etsy shop, you have to put in, um, Oh, that would be so much fun, Sandra. I wish I could. I've never been out in the United States. No, your Etsy shop, it goes right into your um, bank account. So you don't use PayPal. You can accept the PayPal payments, but um, you get paid through a bank account. Oh, I would love to, Sandra. Look, I'm not this world traveler. Lately, I feel like I have been. Hey, Patty, how are you? Thanks, Debbie. Um, we stayed at the Aloft Hotel um, in, in, on the West End. So it was, it was probably, it was a couple miles from downtown. So that's why we did the Ubers and the Lyfts. Hey, Eva. Um, but they had a trolley system like that went all around. And so I did the two-day trolley pass, which really took you all around downtown and the West End and the Parthenon and the Belmont Mansion, that kind of stuff. And then Friday I did, hey Peggy, I'm from Minnesota. My sister lives in Minnesota. Um, I did the um, Madame Tussauds and the, op the Grand Old Opry. So that I took a lift to. So, hey Rosie, from Ohio. So yeah, I mean, most of the drivers were very nice. They were very quick, on time, right there. Um, it was work for my husband, and I always wanted to go, hey Christina, to Nashville. So my husband um, asked me if I wanted to go. No, I, could, I just cut this, especially this. It's a little plasticky. I cut it with my rotary cutter. And when you use this, you really kind of want to stay within the lines. I don't know if you can see it has all the lines that run both ways. So when you cut it, you kind of don't want to cut these lines so it doesn't fray as much. So if you keep it like that and keep your cutting lines straight, it will not fray as much. Patty, how are you? I've missed you. How have you been? All right, so this is the bottom layer, so or the outer layer. So now we're going to do the inner layer. And we're going to put the mesh in here. Yeah, it really isn't hard. It really kind of walks you through it to set up Etsy. Um, you know, the big thing is when you do your listings, the keywords, and all that kind of stuff. Hey, D, how are you? So, it's, it's really, it's not too difficult. I am making a wreath. It's when life gives you lemons make lemonade. I sold it on my in my Amazon shop. So um, I have to ship it out tomorrow. So that's why I'm not normally on. 
Sunday nights, but I thought, well, I will pop on tonight. The mesh is cut to 20 inches. It's 10 inch mesh, and I cut it to 20 inches. I know, isn't this mesh pretty? It really is. Whoops, uh oh. Now I dropped my ribbon on the floor. Thank you, Mary. So, but yeah, I think my, my most favorite part was um, the Belmont Mansion. I have not done a key, um, a tutorial, no, I have not done a tutorial on the keywords. But um, Lauren from Beautiful Mesh, she sells um, like lists of keywords for things, so you can always go onto her site on Etsy and get the keywords from her. You know, she sells you lists of like keywords to use. Or you can just, you know, go in and kind of explore. Yes, I did see the witch hat at the Dollar Tree. I had bought some a couple years ago. Excuse me, all my ribbons fell. Um, I bought some. Oh, now there's the rest of it. Um, sorry about that. I bought a box of them. Oh, the wire ones? No, I have not seen the wire ones. And you know what else I haven't seen? The um, pumpkins ones. Um, I went to a dollar store today to look. Nobody in my area has those pumpkin Dollar Tree ones or the witches ones. And when I went online to see if I could order them, you can't order them. But no, I have not seen the witches hat um those frames. I have not. My, and they said they don't even know if they're going to get them. Because I was asking them, I said, did you, do you have the pumpkin frames? And she said, no, everyone's asking about those. We don't have them. You don't like the pumpkin ones? Yeah, I have not. I've not been able to find them. Because I've been looking and I was going to order some online and you can't order them. They're in Arizona. <laughs> Yeah, nope, I haven't seen them. And I have literally one, two, three, four, five, five or six, um, <laughs> five or six Dollar Trees within like 10 miles of me. And not one has any of them. Yeah, they don't have them. They do not have them. Oh, you don't like them? Yeah, I would love to try one, but... Hey, Regina, how are you? You have two left. Now, how did you make them? Did you use the yarn? Did you use mesh? What did you do? Hey, Melanie. This is the last one. With the Yeah, I have the plastic frames, you know, the one that comes with the tinsel stuff on it. But I have not seen any of the metal ones. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to get my hands on one of those um, just to try it and see what it's like, but haven't found it. Hey, Lisa, how are you? All right, so that is all of my mesh on. So I'm going to go and grab my pipe cleaners and pull them out so I can find them. And then we will get going on the ribbon. Okay, so what we're going to do, I have all my ribbon all over the place. They only received one. Huh. Yeah, I have not seen any of them. And I keep going to them and asking them. They're large. I had heard that, that they're pretty large. Um, okay, so we're going to use this two and a half inch yellow. And I cut these to 14 inches. And we're going to use the two and a half inch black with white dots. And you do in Pittsburgh? Um. Christmas tree. Lisa, try making a tree out of it. 
my husband goes to Pittsburgh. I'll have to ask him if he um, can find them. Okay, so we are going to layer these. We're going to put the two and a half and then the one and a half on top. Again, these are cut to 14 inches. We're going to fold them in half. You're going to make an angel. That's a good idea. Yeah, I would think a tree, an angel. What else can you make with those? I'm trying to think. And we're going to pop this in here. So we have the yellow, the black and white, and the green. You did. All right, and then I cut my, um, wow, that one's long. That's no way that's 36 inches. Okay, I cut my, oh, candy corn, that's a good one. Yes, yes, I have seen that, the four inch ribbon. Yep. Okay, so I cut my um, mesh tubing to 36 inches. I fold it in half and in half again. And then I'm going to put one of these in each of the pipe cleaners with my um, ribbons. Okay, and then I'm going to put lemons in some, but I don't know which ones yet. So that's what it looks like, okay? So it has the yellow, the black, and the green. Oh, hey, Connie. Did you lose me, girl? All right, and then the green on top. Yeah, but I would think um, definitely a tree, which has had the angel. I'm trying to think of what else I've made with those kind of things. A gnome, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yep, a gnome. A Santa Claus head, maybe. Like a, you know, something like that, maybe. I don't have to, just have to see. An elf, yep. Yeah, I, what I did was I take, I took this, I fold it in half, and then, yeah, Santa's hat, like a Santa's hat, an elf hat. Um, hey, Jane, how are you? Yeah, so anything like that. Like I said, I'm not going to cut or curl these yet because of cornucopia. See, great ideas, you guys. I'm going to put a couple lemons here and there. I'm trying to think what else I've made with those. Yeah, but you could do any of that. Absolutely. Again, my ribbons were cut to 14 inches. Yep, you can do any of that. Absolutely. Yep, you could cut, you know, you could cut some of it up. A reindeer, that's a great idea. Reindeer head. Yep. Hey, Jonathan. How are ya? Oh, she did? She's in, yeah. She's still in, I didn't know she was still there. I didn't know when she was coming home. Nashville was awesome, Jonathan. It was so much fun. So much fun. It was really a blast. And I did go to the Ryman Auditorium. And my husband was in like a dinner meeting one night. So I'm like, well, I don't want to sit around the hotel all by myself. So, um, yep, absolutely. They are endless. So I thought, let me go see what's at the Ryman Auditorium tonight. So I um, went to see a show at the Ryman. It was like a country classic show. The Gatlin Brothers, um, who else was there? Who else did I say was there, Pat? This one's pretty, this one's pretty puffy. This one is probably about six inches. I know, isn't it pretty? Um, the Gatlin Brothers, who else did I say was there? 
Oh, darn. Can't remember. Um, no, it do, it's not variegated. It just kind of looks that way. It kind of has a sheen to it. I'll show you. The, oh, I didn't, forgot to put one in there. Oh, here I am chatting and forgetting to put in there. It kind of looks that way. Can you see it? Because it kind of has a sparkle to it. Here I am chatting away. The ruffles are 20 inches. And then, um, hey, Tammy. Oh, <laughs> hey, Joy. No problem. The ruffles are 20 inches. The mesh, uh, the mesh is cut to 20 inches. And the ribbon is cut to 14 inches. And we are making a lemon-themed wreath. And I'm so busy gabbing, I forgot to put my tubing in here. That, oh, the Oak Ridge Boys. The Oak Ridge Boys. The Gatlin Brothers. And then Randy Travis stopped in. He didn't, he didn't sing or anything. He just stopped in. And then, um, what else? Oh, there was this 12-year-old kid who they said he um, got noticed because he was singing in a Walmart somewhere and it went viral and now he is singing at the Ryman Auditorium. Crazy. I was like, that's crazy. 12 years old. He had a good voice too. So he came out and um, sang a couple songs. So that was a lot of fun. So I thought, I don't want to sit in the hotel by myself. Hey, Sandy. So again, the mesh is cut to 20 inches. The ribbon tails are cut to 14 inches. The um, mesh tubing is cut to 36 inches. So. The yonder? What's the yonder? I forget what his name was. But he was good. He was really good. It's amazing. I'm like, man. And then, you know, every single bar, or restaurant, I should say. We, um, we don't go to bars, but every single restaurant, there was um, bands playing in every restaurant. Now, this isn't, this is a little fluffier. This is a regular one. Um, it's using the same technique, but um, I'm usually live Monday nights. Tonight's a rarity. Um, Monday nights, and then I'm live on YouTube on Thursday nights now. But I have this wreath I have to make that has to ship out tomorrow. So I thought I would come on um, tonight instead. Because I have a lot going on. Okay, so that's it around the bottom. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, my sister Pat, if you see Pat Callow, the name Pat Callow, that's my sister. And um, I think I've turned into her loving wreaths. Oh, thank you, Christina. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, my daughter's not big on the wreaths I make. She doesn't like deco mesh wreaths. Doesn't like it. But she does like the um, she does like the um, cricket that I'm now using. Oh, the young yodeler. Um, he didn't yodel. He sang. I don't remember what his name was though. But it was it was really it was a lot of fun. So I thought, when am I ever going to get to, you know, go there again? So I thought, I'm going to take advantage of it. So I went to see that. And then, the, um, of course, the, you know, the Wax Museum, which did you guys see my post and guess all the people there? Some of them looked, you know, pretty much, I think, like their real life person. Oh, he did on the one you saw? Okay. Oh, let me tell you, Christina, I love my Cricut machine. You know, I thought, oh, I'm not going to buy one because I don't know how much I'll use it, right? Because they're expensive. I think it was like $350. So in a group that I'm in, 
my business coach had this contest that if you did so many things, you know, or kind of met a quote of stuff, that, um, that she did, and I won it, and I was like, oh, well, I love that thing. I have made a bunch of shirts for my daughter's, um, volleyball team moms. The bus tour was fun. Yeah, I did that, um, what is it, the, uh, the trolley tour. That was fun. Although, if you stayed on the whole time, you were on that, that bus for like an hour and 40 minutes. But, which one did I get? Which one what, Portia? I did the trolley tour, the, I don't remember what, which trolley company it was, but kind of, you know, went on that. And I got the two-day pass so that I could, you know, use it for the two days. And one night I did, or one day I kind of stayed in, right in Nashville, like on the Strip, and did all the stuff down there, like the Ryman Tour, the Country Music Hall of Fame, um, and then all the little stuff, like all the little shops and stuff there. And then, oh, the Cricket, sorry, um, the Cricket Maker. I won the Cricket Maker. And I really like it. Yeah, I really like it. So I've made some signs. I've made a bunch of shirts. Um, so, hey Nancy, aren't you away? But yeah, it's a lot of fun. I really like it. Hey Jeannie, how are you? Was it, I think it was Joanne, yes, Mason, yes, I think that's who it was. I think that's who it was. 12 years old. This kid was amazing. I thought, wow, what talent. But yeah, every restaurant had singers or bands or something. Um, like every couple of hours, they changed them out. And then, oh, you got home a little while ago? And then um, Friday night, my husband and I went downtown for dinner. And we went to this, my husband wanted ice cream, so we went to this little sweet shop. And this mom had these, her two little kids, I mean, they couldn't have been more than six and eight, maybe, out there playing the fiddle. And I thought, oh, I don't know about that. That kind of made me a little, I don't know. I didn't like that. I thought, these poor kids, they don't know. Well, maybe they do. I don't know. But they were so young. And they're sitting out on the sidewalk outside of this little candy shop playing their fiddle. The, and a cake cricket? It was a lot of fun. Um, no, I don't think you can do a sublimation. No. 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 Sublimation is a different type of printing. I don't know. Oh, whoop, I'm missing a green one. Um, oh, there it is. I don't know a lot about the sublimation, but... You can't, I don't think you can do the sublimation with. When you're first starting out, you want to sell them like a double, sometimes double your cost. It just depends your area and that kind of stuff. So I do um, ties in six on the top and six on the bottom. I don't. The way I do my um, my forms, I only put um, half pipe some half pipe cleaners down the bottom. Okay. Oop! I cut one yellow too many. Oop! And I didn't add a. Guys, I'm talking too much. cuts designs really to decorate cakes what do you huh 
It cuts designs to decorate cakes. Yeah, some people, they just price them really low, which kind of hurts, you know, other people. Where do you live in Pittsburgh, Christina? My husband's from the North Hills. Thanks, Nancy. Yeah, my husband's um, from North Hills in uh, Pittsburgh. about done with all of the ribbons here. Monroeville. Oh, okay, that's not far. That's not far. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's hard. It's I'll tell you it's a tough business. It really is a tough business. No, but actually I'm going to do that Thursday night, Sandra. <laughs> I'm actually going to show that on Thursday night. All right, so here's the sign. So we're going to go ahead and put the sign, and then I have to make a bow. So let me get my... How do you get your name out there? Just hustle it, girlfriend. Just hustle it. All right, so I'm going to put four pipe cleaners here. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's a hard business. Just doing lives and just being out there, Christina, really is all it amounts to. You really just got to push it and just do a lot. Oh, I missed. Let's get that one on there. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Yes, I did. Didn't I? I thought I responded to you. Oh, thanks, Nancy. I thought I sent you a message, Cheryl, saying no problem. Yeah, no, I completely understand. Don't worry about it. Nope. Do not even worry about it. Yeah, I do. Thanks, Nancy. It's a lot of work. It really is. I mean, you do kind of have to work your butt off when you are doing this kind of work. I can't get it. Donna. All right, so we'll just do two. So I'm going to kind of put it on the side over here. <laughs> you know, it is, it's a lot of work and you just, you have to, you do, you gotta, I mean, I've been doing this for three three and a half years now and it it's uh, it's still it's a struggle every day it's a struggle selling stuff all the time it's just you just gotta put yourself out there and just do it hey Connie how are you so I'm just feeding these through the mesh okay and what I'm doing is I'm trying to Yes, prayfully, definitely, definitely. Okay, and then this one's on a crossbar, so it's not going to slide up and down. Um, I am in Damon's groups, but um, honestly, I don't, I don't have time to take his, watch his stuff anymore. I've been with Damon since he first started his groups um, a couple years ago. And um, he gives you a lot of good information. 
All right, so I'm gonna put that there, and then we're gonna make a bow. Yes, they do. They definitely do want the most for nothing. All right, and we are going to use my four-in-one bow maker. Okay. Okay, so I need the green and white first. So we're going to do a three, two, one bow. And basically what that is, is we're going to do this bottom layer is going to have three loops. Um, yes, you can either do it, you can sell it on Etsy. Hey Muriel! Um, you can sell it on Etsy and then they have to pay for it before um, you send it. Never send out a wreath without getting paid. Um, because you won't ever get paid if you do that. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I make them or I send them, you can sell, send them a, um, hey Teresa, hey Christine, yeah, you, or you can do it on PayPal, send them an invoice. Okay, so I'm going to do six inch loops. I am doing well. So you twist in the middle. And so we're going to do three with this ribbon. And I'm just going to keep that loop there to make it the same size. Christina, no problem at all. So how many of you guys, yeah, if you're making a custom order, if you're doing a custom order, I require half up front that is non-refundable. So if someone wants an order from you before I even start the wreath, I take a um, deposit of half the cost of the wreath that is non-refundable. That is a no, I don't, I don't do it any other way. Because if they change their mind, you're still stuck buying all the material, you know, if you've bought all the materials already, then you're stuck with it. You know, not that you can't use it, but you don't want to be stuck with the, you know, stuff that you bought and for that wreath, so. Okay, so this is called the 321 bow because this first ribbon we're going to do three loops at six inches. Ah, uh, no, 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 nope, non returnable. No, I, I. I don't want to say this to sound snooty or anything, but I don't, I, I do custom orders, but I don't like custom orders because people are extremely picky and they nitpick every little thing. Okay, so this one I'm going to do two loops on each side, the same size. Yeah, I really, I mean, I'll do custom orders, but I don't make them. Yeah. Yep, so what the 321 is, is you do three loops on each side with the first one, and then um, two loops with the second one. And then one loop with the third ribbon. That's why it's called the three, two, one. Yeah, except for my sister's customers. 
Yeah, because, I mean, you take all your time and effort making it and picking everything out and buying it, and then they're like, oh, no, I don't like it. Well, that's why I do the half um, non-refundable because at least you get your money, hopefully, for your materials and some of, you know, your time that you put into it, so... Okay, so there I did two loops with this one. Okay. And then the last one we're going to do a one loop. Um, the three, two, one, <clears throat> the first, <clears throat> sorry. <coughs> Yeah, right, Marielle? Yeah. Right, Debbie? Yeah, the first two ribbons, I do six-inch loops. This one, I will do um, by four-inch loops. Yeah, no returns. Uh-uh. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do one loop on each side. Yeah, it's hard. It is so hard with wreaths because, I know, isn't it pretty? So many people seem like they're doing it now, and you look on, um, you know, the Facebook sites and all that kind of stuff. I want to make sure these are the same size, a little bigger, um, that it's, it's hard to compete now. Yes. Hey, there's my sister Robin. How's the baby? My sister Robin just had a new grandbaby. Oh, it was wonderful, Cheryl. It was a lot of fun. Robin, you drove all the way to Virginia by yourself. Girl, I'm impressed. Way to go. Thanks, Nancy. Yeah, my trip was a blast. It was a lot of fun. I took full advantage of the couple days that I had there. I was busy, 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 busy. Okay, so now I'm going to take my, um, thank you very much, my zip tie. Oh no, you can change it up. Nope. Oh boy, yeah. Yeah, you go into Michael's and see some of the stuff. And it's like, really? Whew. What are you proud of, Pat? I know, aren't you, that she drove all that way? I'm surprised, but good for you. All right, then I'm going to bring that to the back. And before I tighten it up, hey, Linda, no worries. I'm going to put two pipe cleaners together and stick them underneath there. And um, stick them in here to put that on to. Yeah, this is her first grand fourth grandchild. She has two granddaughters now and two grandsons. I'm jealous because she has. Hey, Bev, two granddaughters, and I don't have any, but that's okay. We share. Um, I used the four in one, Sherry. Okay, so now before you tighten that up all the way, you want to make sure and have your um, loops where you want them and uh, Michael's and all that. Because once you tighten it, then you're not going to be able to. <laughs> yeah, your she shed. Oh, I wish I had a she house. I need a she house. Okay, so then I'm going to tighten it all the way. And cut that off. Okay. Okie dokie. Now, once we get it on the wreath. Okay. Kind of put it up a little bit. I need to get 
that on there. Okay, I'm going to put it up here a little bit. Feed it through here. Uh, well, I think my kids are done. I don't think I have a chance for a granddaughter. I think they are pretty much done. My, my daughter has four boys. And hey, Kathy, and my son has three. So I don't think I'm going to get any granddaughters. Whoops. But that's okay. They're all a blessing, and I wouldn't trade any of them for the world. I'm doing well. I, you know what? Oh, I loved going to Pat Catan's when I would come up to Pittsburgh. So they're gone now, right? Oh. Okay, so I'm going to fluff the bow. I know, I liked cat Pat Catan's. Whenever I went to Pittsburgh, I would go there. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to curl these. You can roll them up. Okay, and we're going to get some lemons here. Let me get my... Okay, so I want to put a lemon right here in the middle. But let me tell you, at home, that place must be. Oh, I love the at home store too, yeah. All right, so what we're going to do, where is my. Okay. We are going to take our handy dandy ice pick, and we're going to go right in the bottom of the lemon, and we're going to put a hole in there, okay? And we are going to. So I can put this into the um, the bow. We take this pipe cleaner. I'm going to stick it down in there and push it. Push that pipe cleaner in, and then once my glue gun gets heated up, I'm going to put that in there. Okay. And then what we're going to do? Do this one. And I'm going to add this one over here. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to add it right into my pipe cleaner there. So I got that hole in there. Make sure this gets heated up here. I'm going to put a pretty good amount of glue there. And I'm going to put it right on top so the hole that pipe cleaner goes down into that hole. Okay. Push that in there. Get that going in there. I'll let that one sit a little bit. Where did I get those yellow ribbon boards? Oh, the um, these are the perfect tails. Okay, so I'm just going to put lemons here and there. I'm not going to put them everywhere. I'm just going to put a couple on. I know they don't sell those anymore. They do not sell that glue gun anymore. So I'm going to cut these off. Get one on there. That with a good amount of glue there. And put it right down in there. Hey Cindy, how are you? And then I think I'll do like every couple. So the ones that I'm not using. Oh, you did? I know. Aren't they awesome? I'll take and I will curl up 
the pipe cleaners. You can either curl them up or you can um, cut them off. No, I don't make them. I have, let me see, I have an affiliate link for it. Whoops, whoop, 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 wait, I lost you. I have an affiliate link for them if you want to purchase the Perfect Tails. Okay, so this is for those Perfect Tails. So you can just go right on there and order, you can get um, they have different colors at different times. Oh, you do? That's awesome. Okay, so I will put... Let me see where I put that. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a little bit more. Let me get another lemon. And I'm going to put one over here. Because you don't need, you know, a ton of them. But you want enough on here. No, the glue gun holder came from, um, let me get it for you. The mesh roller and the glue gun holder came from Susie's Wreaths and Things. So that's where you get the mesh holder, which is this, and my um, glue gun holder. The bow maker comes from probothehand.com. And trust me, hey Barbara, if you um, do reaping, you need that. Okay, so I'm not going to put it there, I'm not going to put it in here. I'm just going to twist these up, and then, let's see, we have one, two, three, let me put one over here, up here. Okay, so again, I'm just taking this and getting it in there good and long, because you want that to really grab a hold of it. I do not sell the Probo, no. You can buy it at probothehand.com. Or you can actually, you can order it, um, I think you can order it from, hold on. Let me see, I think I have a link to actually the Probo. Hold on. Here it is. Hey Georgia, here is a link, my affiliate link for Amazon to get the Pro Bow of the Hand. So I get a couple pennies if you use my affiliate links, not much, but every little bit helps. So much would be appreciated. Oh, yep, Etsy, yeah. Oh yeah, I still use it, absolutely. Okay, so let me take this one and I'm going to put this right in the center of the bow. Hey Jerry, how are you? Yeah, I still use it. I do. I love my Pro Bow and the foreign one. Okay, let me tie this around here. I don't have four inch, no. No worries. Thanks for coming. Okay, get my bow back in shape here. Okay. All right. I'm done with all the lemons, and that is a little loosey goosey. So I want to tighten that up a little bit, and get that 
tied on good. So what you want to do when you are making your wreaths and your signs, which I need to get this a little tighter, is I kind of do the shake method. And just check. Nope, everything's on there good. Okay, I'm going to bring that out a little bit. I know, isn't it pretty? It really is. I saw, I'm where to look. I need a roll for a project. Um, a roll of what, Sue? What do you need? Oh, the white oh, four inch. That that's going to be hard to find. The four inch. Four inch is not. Um, oh, you could try Deco Exchange. You can try Craft Outlet, but I don't know. That's going to be tough to find. I know. Aren't they cute? Okay. Okay. I still need... I really want to put another one in there somewhere. Oh, Cruthers Crafts. Okay. up a little bit. Okay. That's my lemon wreath. What do you guys think? You like it? So this is going to its new home in New Jersey tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I will be live. I don't know if I'm going to be live here tomorrow night since I came on live tonight. Because um, I have my grandkids tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna add something else to that. Um, but I will be live Thursday night on my YouTube channel. So go check out my YouTube channel. Um, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do so. Let me get you the link there. Where is my YouTube channel? Here we go. Um, go subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the um, little bell there so you get alerts for my YouTube channel because I'm starting to do lives on there. So I'd love it if you would join me there as well. All right, guys, and that is it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming along with me on my adventure down to Nashville. I had a blast. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys. Thanks.